Hello everyone, welcome to another video on standard form and this is part three in the series. So I've already introduced you to standard form and we've already looked at writing large numbers in standard form. So in this video we're going to go in reverse and we're going to take some numbers that are already written in standard form and we're going to write them out in full. So I'm going to go through a couple of examples first. So the first one we've got is 8 times 10 to the power 6. Now the way I like to do this is I like to write the base out first. So we're starting off with 8. And because we're multiplying by 10, we need to add some zeros on. So if I multiply by 10 once, well, that's going to give me 80. But I'm multiplying by 10 six times, so I need to add on six zeros. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So what number have we got here? Let's just put some commas in. If we put the commas in, we can see that this is 8 million. So that is my answer. OK, so the next example we're going to go through, we've got 4.35 times 10 to the power 5. So just like I did before, let's write out the base number. So we've got 4.35. Now this one's slightly different because we've got a decimal point. So when we've got a decimal point and we're multiplying by 10, we're just going to move the decimal point to the right. So if I move the decimal point to the right once, that's just multiplying by 10 once. That's going to give me 43.5 but we need to multiply by 10 five times. So we need to mo move the decimal point five times to the right. Now at the moment, you can see we can't really do that because there's nothing over here. So let's just add some zeros in as placeholders. I can delete these later, but we'll need them just to see where the decimal point is going. So I'm gonna move the decimal point to the right five times. So that's one, two, three, four, five. So my decimal point is now here, and you can see these zeros aren't doing anything, so I can just delete them. Let's get rid of them like that. So this is my answer. So let's just clean it up a bit. We've got 435000, and if we add a comma in here, you can see this is our answer, 435,000. Okay, I've got nine questions for you to have a go at now. So pause the video and see if you can write all of these nine numbers in full. Okay, let's go through the answers. So the first one, we've got nine times 10 to the power three. So let's write out, write out our base number. And we're multiplying by 10 three times. So we just need to add on three zeros to the end. So one, two, three. So we've got 9,000. Okay, question two, five times 10 to the power seven. So our base number is five. And we're going to add on seven zeros. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If we put our commas in, we can see that this is 50 million is our answer for this one. OK, question three, 2.9 times 10 to the power five. So 2.9. And now we've got some decimals in, decimal points in. We're going to have to move our decimal point to the right every time we multiply by 10. So because we're multiplying by 10 five times, we're definitely going to have to add some zeros in here. So let's just add some zeros in. And now let's move our decimal point five times. So we start. this is where we're starting. So one, two, three, four, five. So our decimal point is now here. So let's rub off these numbers. There we go. So our answer, I'm just going to write it out again. We've got two nine zero 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 zero. So that is two hundred and ninety thousand. OK, question four. We've got eight point three times ten squared. So eight point three. And when we're going to move it, move the decimal point to the right two times. So I think I'm going to need an extra zero on on for this one. So if we move it twice, we're going to go one, two. So you can see that that is the decimal point is now here, so it is 830. So 830 is the answer. Okay, the next one, 3.51 times 10 to the power 4. So 3.51. And again, let's add some zeros on. So we're moving it four times. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So now we are here. So let's get rid of our other zeros that are superfluous. So what have we got? We have got three, five, one, zero, zero, which is 35,100. 
Okay, question six, 4.04 times 10 cubed. So 4.04, let's add some zeros. These zeros don't do anything, but they just, they just help me when I move the decimal point. So we are gonna move it three times, three times to the right. One, two, three. So the decimal point is now here. And uh, let's get rid of this last zero that we didn't use. So our final answer is 4,040. 4,040. Okay, the next one, we've got 6.237 times 10 to the power six. 6.237, let's add some zeros. I don't know how many I'll need. Well, I need quite a few because we're moving it six times. So we're starting here and we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six times to the right. So our decimal point is now in this position. There were three that I didn't use. Let's get rid of those. So our final answer, we've got six and then two, three, seven, zero, zero, zero. So that would be 6,237,000. Okay, on to question eight, 7.104 times 10 to the power eight. So 7.104 and let's add quite a few zeros on. And we're gonna move it eight times. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we almost got the right number of zeros. So let's just get rid of that last one. So our final answer is gonna be, we've got seven and then one, zero, four, and then we've got five zeros. One, two, three, four, five. So this is going to be 710,400,000. Okay, the last question. 3.002589 times 10 to the power 4. Looks quite complicated, but let's just follow the same pattern. So let's write down our base number first. So we've got 3.002589. I think I've copied that out right. And we're moving our decimal point to the right four times. So this time I don't need any zeros because I've already got enough digits here. So four times, so it's gonna be one, two, three, four. So it's between the five and the eight. So our final answer, we've got three, zero, zero, two, five, point eight, nine. So let's just put a comma in here. So it would be 30,025.89. So how did you get on with those nine questions? If you didn't use the same method I did, that's absolutely fine. This is just the way I like to do it. Um, so hopefully that was useful for you in being able to convert between standard form and your regular numbers. Um, in the next video, we're going to start to take a look at really small numbers because so far we've only focused on really large numbers. You can also write really small numbers using standard form. So hopefully you'll join me for that video next week and thanks again for watching. Take care.